It is our first day in Sitka of 50 degrees and partly cloudy, overcast, but literally gorgeous. I have basically been coming out here every single day to miss Priscilla and Henrietta and Pearl. Pearl is the white one, Henrietta is the black one with the little gold strips, and Priscilla is one of our newest Bantams. And they have been troublemakers, constantly jumping up and hopping the fence, which is obviously not a very tall fence as you can see behind me um, and I don't have any nets over knees so they can like hop out and occasionally they do get out but recently they've been doing it almost all the time and I think it's because it's spring and green things are starting to pop up and they see it all around them and they just want to go on a little forest adventure so I thought we would take today to basically hop in there grab as many chickens as we can and cut off their primary flight feathers so chickens have kind of two rows of feathers they have their primary flight feathers which are the big ones that span out when you spread open their wing and I'll show you guys that and then they have their secondary flight feathers so you only want to cut the primary feathers and you only need to cut actually one wing you don't need to cut both um, so what you do when you cut one wing is you just snip off the, like this much or so of the primary flight feathers almost back to where the secondary start and that basically puts them like off balance so they basically won't hop up and try to fly because they'll realize like they've lost their balance and they can't make a good flight um so it's a really good thing to do if you have short fences like i do and you don't want your chickens hopping out and exploring the whole neighborhood um because it's much safer for our um chickens to be inside of the fence most of the time than out. I don't mind an occasional hop out and run around, but definitely not every day, especially when I'm not home to watch after them. Let's go catch some chickens and trim some feathers and I'll walk you through how to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we have Buttercup. She's not much of a troublemaker, but she was the first one I caught, so we're just gonna run with her. So what you're gonna do, it's a little bit easier if you have two people, but you can definitely do it one-handed. You're going to fan out, fan out their wings. And if you can see here, this is the secondary flight feathers, the ones up here. The primary flight feathers are these really big, chunky, thick feathers at the top. So the primary ones are the ones that they use for flight and that is what we're going to cut today. So what you're going to do is you're going to span out one wing, harder to do with one hand than you would think, and you're basically going to sprawl them out. You're going to take your scissors and you're just going to gently cut the primary flight feathers. So now if we span them out, we can see we took a trim and basically it's like getting your hair done or your nails trimmed. Doesn't hurt them at all. Their feathers are just keratin. They don't have any nerves. Um, so it's not gonna injure them. All they're gonna do is basically when they hop up to fly, they're gonna be off kilter and they're not gonna wanna fly very far. So that is one chicken done. Nine more to go. Some chickens are much more dramatic about this process than others. Four down. This is Priscilla. She's the number one troublemaker who likes to hop the fence. The other day I found her in the front of the yard. <laughs> I was driving on the driveway and all of a sudden I saw a loose chicken running down the grass in the front yard. It was so funny. She has such beautiful feathers though. This is Henrietta. She's actually one of my favorite chickens, but she is hard to catch.
This is Pearl. She's one of our Americanas. She's really pretty. I actually ordered four new chicks and they arrived this week. I'm really excited to share that with you guys. And I ordered some more Americanas because they make the most beautiful eggs, really friendly birds. Just overall, great chicken stone. This is Elvis. You can tell she's Elvis because of her little haircut here. Another one of our newer Bantams. I think I'm missing one. So all of our black chickens, there's three of them. The biggest one is Oreo and then there's Hershey and Kit Kat. And I don't know which one is Hershey and which one is Kit Kat. They honestly look identical to me. And I think that's the last one I'm missing. Okay, well, nine out of 10 isn't bad, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to give the chickens some serious treats after that because they're very angry with me right now. And it looks like a chicken massacre, honestly, out here with all the feathers that are clipped. Um, but that is it for today. I hope you guys learned a little something about chickens. It's honestly, it's harmless. It's a really easy process. It's fast. I just did all of that in probably 10 or 15 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.